Ormond Beach Police are investigating the former wrestler's role in a fatal crash. Officers say Sitch slammed into a car that was stopped at a traffic light on US-1 on March 25th, killing a 75-year-old man. This one, you knew there was an accident. You knew something was wrong. Pete Joshua works nearby. He says he ran outside after hearing the crash and called 911. In a traffic report, police say two witnesses told them Sitch was driving at a high rate of speed before hitting the other car. In this diagram, officers show how the first car that was hit was pushed into a second car. It was a bad scene. It was one of the worst wrecks I've ever seen. Ormond Beach police say they're investigating whether Sitch was impaired. A statement from the department says the investigation may lead to criminal charges, which are pending toxicology results. OBPD has requested an expedited time frame on the processing of these samples. They have to send those off to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, who will then test the blood to make a determination about What's that score? Sean Mendez Catlin is an Orlando attorney who is not involved in this case. If you're over a .08 in Florida, then it's presumed that you are under the influence. Well, police say that Sitch was hospitalized following this crash. Today we reached her by text message and she told us she did not want to comment. TMZ is reporting she's been arrested at least six times for DUI. Reporting live in Ormond Beach, Daniel Lama, Fox 35 News.